Hello everyone. Today we will look at uh, keyframe animation in Houdini. When we do keyframe animation, usually we need some tool for us to deal with the keyframes. For example, you want to copy some keyframe from one node to another, or you need to export your animation uh, to a disk file so that you can pass on this file to someone else so they can import into their uh, Houdini. I have developed some tool for these simple tasks. Let's take a look at the asset. First thing, you need to make sure that um, you have this uh, uh, FX keyframe cache assets installed into your current Houdini session. Then let's create a geometry node. All right, let's go inside the geometry node. Then you can find this uh, KFFX uh, keyframe cache node. Uh, this is a sub level, SOP sub level digital asset. So you can drop one here. This asset takes one input and one output. It can work without any input. Okay, later I'll explain how it works. So let's set up some scenario. Let's say I have a box and uh, <coughs> I'm going to transform it. So let's take a look at the box. Let me change the background to dark. Let's move it in the X direction and rotate it at the same time. At frame one, I want to keyframe the translate rotate. I will transform one, then I go to frame maybe 24. I will move the cube along the X axis. Right, and also I will rotate it for some degree, and then I will keyframe both the translate and rotate. Okay, now I have two keyframes. So let's uh, try this now. So you can see that when I scrub the timeline, the box will move and also rotate. Okay, let's say you're happy with this animation. Then you have another geometry, which is a uh, and you also want to transform it. In order to see both, I would like to merge this tool. Okay, so I can merge this tool. When you scroll the timeline, you can see that uh, the box is moving, but the tube is not. Okay, in order to see the tube clearer, I want to make the tube a little bit taller. Let's say I want to copy some of the animation from transform 1 to transform 2. Of course you can copy the parameter and then you can paste relative reference here all right so that you have a connection between these two okay this is something we call uh, channel referencing basically the data is on transform 1 but referencing the transform 1 data from transform two, for example, if you, let's say I copy parameter, translate one, go to transform two, I paste relative reference. Okay, you can see that we have a expression here saying that uh, I'm reading from transform one, tx, ty, and tz, correspondingly. So. Now when you move, when you scrub the timeline, you see the tube is actually moving as well. That's okay if you prefer this way. But sometimes you want to copy over the animation from transform 1 to transform 2. But you also want to make some adjustment to the keyframes. And of course you can do uh, in a procedure way, let's say, for example, you want to do some uh, expressions, right? based on these uh, inputs. Let's say I want to uh, times two or, you know, or plus one or something, right? Yeah. But sometimes uh, this will, might not be that intuitive and um, might not work for all the situations. So sometimes you would rather just copy the keyframe, paste to another, then make the modification. And uh, this KFFX um, keyframe cache node can help you to do that. So let's uh, go to transform two and delete the channels. Okay, 
now it's not moving anymore all right because the link has been broken so let's use this node to do the job this node doesn't need to connect to any of the nodes if you don't want to it can work standalone like so all right i can collect some keyframes from inputs if you don't have inputs you can select the second one from a node all right say for example i can collect keyframes from transform one so that i can drag transform one into here so now this node will collect uh, keyframes from transform one in this mode you must click this button to collect all the keyframes from the node it won't collect those values that without any keyframe all right it only collect those channels that has been keyframes like so then in the geometry spreadsheet you can see that uh, actually the data the keyframe has been collected and also been converted into detail level attribute you see the rx y z tx y z with corresponding keyframe uh, information all right so that's the first thing that we collected keyframes the next thing we also want to do if you want to build an animation library for example you have a character a running cycle or anything you want to cache out to this file all right because you want to save into a file for others to load all right then here you can say oh i'm going to save it to a disk file say my heap folder oh so let me save my current file first all right i have saved my file then i can say that uh, i want to save this cache to my heap folder there is a cache folder mm, i like it there so i go inside here i can say this would be my uh, test animation dot b g e o all right dot i c i'm not putting in any frame number here because we don't need to save to a sequence we just need to save to one single file because all the information will be inside the single file so you don't need to save a sequence of files by the way bgo means uh, this is a geometry cache and IC means this is a compressed file all right accept then you can say click save to disk all right after it's finished you can turn on load from disk all right to load the cache from disk basically all right yeah okay you still have the data okay so the next thing you want to do is you can apply those uh keyframes to another node or, or, or you can say copy those uh, keyframe to another node all right so here i want to copy the frames keyframes to transform to all right so i drag transform to into here i will copy to this node and there's an option here say do you want to remove uh, existing keyframes on transform to or you just want to add those i want to remove because i don't want to mix with the uh, existing keyframes before i click this apply button you can see that uh, i want to prove to you that the tube is not moving it's not rotating okay but when i apply now this tube is moving also rotating and the good thing about this is that uh, they are keyframes so that you can edit those keyframes using your animation editor you can uh, find your animation editor from the windows menu animation editor here and if you want to display the channels display the animation graphs in the animation editor uh, you can go click here go to channels i want to add to channel list your current um, animation editor has a channel list here so you want to add translation to the channel list all right it's already there then you can right click on rotate add to channel list yeah or you can use the hockey shift middle mouse button okay 
So you can see that both rotate and translate curves has been added to the channel list. Once they are here, that you can tweak the animation. For example, I only want to take this frame, right? Yeah, uh, move a, a bit, right? If you want to do in uh, referencing, right, with uh, expressions, it's quite hard to do. If you want to only modify certain uh, keyframes only. Good thing about this copy keyframe is actually better than uh, chops. When you use chops, the channels are, uh, are sampled for each individual single frame. So, so you end up with a lot of uh, data unnecessarily. Uh, for certain tasks, I prefer just copy the keyframe. You also sometimes you don't want to do uh, expressions because you just want to modify one keyframe only. All right. So that's basically how it works. If you want to copy keyframe from one node to another, that's it. That's how it works. Uh, sometimes you don't want to copy all the keyframe from one node to another. You only want to copy some. Then you need to use this functionality called copy from animation editor. And you can turn on only selected channels. Yeah, for example, let's select transform one. Okay, transform one, now it's selected. And these uh, channels are added to channel list. I only want to copy translate. I don't want to copy rotation. Then you can select only those or just display this tree in the channel list and copy over. All right, let's uh, go to transform two and remove all the keyframes for the tube because we want to try again. This time, I uh, I want to re revert to default as well. Yeah, so that uh, yeah, the tube is at the original location. And now this time, I only want to copy the translate, for example, not rotation. Maybe I need to add one more thing here because the tube has a circle cross section. So when it rotates, it's not very clear to see. So I will just use this uh, one uh, transform to kind of uh, stretch it in the X direction a bit. So when it rotates, uh, it's more clearer. All right, so let's uh, copy the translation to this here. Okay, so now I have uh, uh, some channels here if you if you don't want to if you don't want the channel to be displayed in the channel list you can do this rotation because I don't want to copy rotation go to channels remove from channel list yeah so now I'm only displaying the translation okay which is good but but once you select our node your channel list will be emptied because it's kind of automatically showing the channels that of your current selected node. So then how do you collect? Uh, the thing is that uh, you need to create some uh, channel groups to make it always uh, displayed in the animation editor. Let me show you how it works. Say for example, you select transform one, it display back the uh, the six channels. Now this time I want to select only the translation. Okay, select those and go to channel groups here. Create a group from selected channels. Okay, so now I have a new group with three channels. Yeah, so now you display that this three channels displayed here, see geo one, transform one. And now when you select our node, the three channels are, the three channels are still there. All right, because you have your group selected. Or you can use this uh, uh, pin button to pin those there. All right, but sometimes I just prefer to create some groups so I can easily toggle between groups. All right, so now, when you select our node that I want to collect keyframes from the animation editor, but only from the selected channels. Uh, if this is off, 
then uh, if you collect all the channels from the channel list it doesn't matter it's selected or not selected right but you can see that in the geometry sheet, uh, geometry sheet there spreadsheet here you still have six channels right why it's because you are loading still loading from the disk okay you turn off that yeah now you see that we are collecting only these three keyframe all right of course if you want to save out another file please do so or you want to overwrite yeah you just click save to disk to overwrite this animation okay but for now i just ignore the caching part all right and then I can apply to transform tool here apply and when you scrub you see that uh, the, the 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 box is rotating but the tube is not all right so i have copied only the translation animation to another node by using the animation editor so of course first you need to uh, find a way to either pin or create some groups so that uh, the channels are always displayed on the uh, in the animation editor then in our node you can collect it and then you can uh, apply it to another node or you cache out so on and sometimes uh, you may wonder if i don't want to specify from a node or from animation editor can i directly collect from input node yes you can all right so that's the the only input is for so what you need to do is just you just connect whatever node you want to collect from say for example this time transform one you just connect here all right now uh, please note uh that uh, even though we are we have made the connection but we are not taking the geometry data in inside here we, we're just looking for the node we're going to collect keyframe information from okay we are not taking in the geometry all right so once you and make connection then you can click the collect button to collect the keyframes i think that's pretty much it hopefully this tool is very convenient for you to do some uh, tasks okay uh, thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye